Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another mukbang. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to be doing mussels two ways, not those mussels. One, two. So what are we doing today? We're eating mussels two ways. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a good rhythm with mukbangs every week, but unfortunately I had a work trip, so that kind of threw our schedule off. But we're back on the train, and yes, we are doing muscles two ways. I know it's a little redundant. <laughs> What's um, going on with this muscle right here? <laughs> the one on this side is the one we're more familiar with. It's a combination of uh, mayo, sriracha, masago, mm -hmm. uh, green onion, and uh, sesame seeds. It's really good. A classic. We've made this plenty of times at a bunch of potlucks. I think it's called like dynamite muscles. Yeah, dynamite muscles. Seasoned it with fish sauce today. Yes, just give it a little the, bit of kick. The la last time we made this, we used Maggie sauce. Mm -hmm. And the time before that, we used soy sauce. And then on this side, we decided to do something more adventurous. adventurous. We never made this version mm -hmm. before ever. We used uh, the fire sauce. Yeah. Right? And then Popped it off with some mozzarella cheese and then um, some fried shallots and nori seeds. She's not as pretty as this one, I have to admit. Like we didn't, we didn't really look like we didn't really think of a cohesive look for this side. So I think um, probably a modification I'd have in the future is like maybe adding some more green because she looked like I don't know, just like add charred <laughs> pesto in here or something. yeah, something to have our nice cold Japanese beer sapporo. And we decided to do low carb today because our carbs is when, beer. Oh, this is our carb. Yes. Cheers. Oh, oh. I had that thing where like when it gets too full, you kind of have to come up for air. But oh my gosh. I wish you put another one of these in the freezer. Mm, that's Monday night, mama. Okay, calm oh, no, down. Go ahead. Live your life. No, no. Um, and then before we start, we actually have some lemons that are cut up here. We're going to just, is it all over? I think on this side. Just this side? Because there's masago and stuff, and this has cheese. Maybe Got it doesn't it. need the lemon. All right, well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's create, ooh, beautiful squeeze. This lemon is juicy. She is juicy. We still have some left over for you to clean yourself with. with your, <laughs> use the lemon on your My body. It gets rid of odor that's what they say it's only been three <laughs> minutes in you know what i speaking of my work trip i had the best time i needed a little a little distance from mark it was a nice it was a nice um change of pace oh yeah mm -hmm. not from what i heard from what what? <laughs> you, what you know you called me and said i miss you <laughs> You don't have the receipts to, you, now you're just saying things. Oh, I should have recorded it then. Yeah, well, you, without my consent. Anyways, we'll get into more of that trip because oh, yeah, I want to go more. I want to eat this I actually talk. barely talked to James about the trip. Let's okay. just grab one here. And these are the New Zealand green lip mussels. Oh, it's oh, drippy, drippy. Sh sh so juicy. Okay, yeah. let's go for it. Mmm. Always good. Mm. Always really good. Mm. This is going to be a lot of finger licking, so if you don't like that, sorry. Well, when we uh, rinse these in water, we always pluck them from the... What? What is that? Mm -hmm. The stuff? little thing? The, yeah. It's a foot, I think. That's foot. what we, we unpluck it and we put it back in, so when we're eating it, it's so easy to eat. The meat just comes off the shell. Your party guests will thank you for it because oh, no one yeah. wants to be like, uh, and then like. Oh my gosh, it. we ordered these at a sushi restaurant and we actually give a stink eye to the restaurants that don't pluck the mussels and we're like struggling to eat and half the meat just doesn't come off the shell. Okay, you should retract that statement. I don't give a stink eye. I you give a stink eye. I do. Minus points, minus a star. He's so pleasant to go out to eat with, I have to tell you. Uh, there's standards. There are standards, there are but standards. sometimes you're you, know, a little... you don't want to see any like cockroaches around, right? Well, since you you're so standards. heated, let's eat, <laughs> let's eat one of these and then we can get okay. into more of that. Okay, so this I'm is the nervous. Fire. This is a fire sauce. Mmm, this is good. Yeah. Not bad. Mm, there's a the heat. Mmm. But with mm. the with the cheese, it kind of helps mellow it out a little bit. But it has that fire noodle. Beef. Oh, Ooh. it's, it's there. It's there. Is it spicier than normal? Is this heated? <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be a spicy challenge, but this side I might. Oh, but it, it, it's so good. I'll survive. I'll survive. survive. I'm going to taste one. with this. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. We actually had to go to two markets to get all the ingredients. For some reason, the Korean market didn't have... Did they have any kind of mussels? They had the de shelled ones. Okay, we needed the ones in the sh in the in the shell on the shelf still, right? So we had to go to the second market. I don't know which one are you liking now that you've had both. I'm happy that we made two kinds because it kind of ba balances out. Mm -hmm. I think if I eat the dynamite, two trays, you know, if we both <laughs> ate two trays of dynamite, it will kind of be like I'm gonna stick with the same flavor. Mm -hmm. This one totally changes it up, and I like to interchange intermingle these two well i don't know if i can eat two of those in a row i feel like i have to go back and forth because it is it's spicy oh oh you're sweating a little bit this is not <laughs> part of the plan <laughs> Ooh, see if you made this style at a party you gotta you gotta warn people this one this one's like pretty spicy. like safe but yeah well that one's spicy over there mm, did you did you already eat one i just ate two oh, now you okay. oh she's hissing at me Actually, that second beer in the freezer is not a bad idea after all. You might, oh, we don't. <gasps> James ordered macaroni salad uh, <laughs> as part of his lunch earlier today. Is that not planned? Were you strategic? No, Did you I wasn't get even that doing that. Side, mm. thinking that you might need it for today. That was not part of the plan. That's not part of the plan. But you should have not told me that it was there because I'm trying to do low carb. <laughs> well, you don't have to be mad. <laughs> Elsa's voice just dropped. My elbow got in the way. Mm. This is very low carb. And muscle is affordable. I, one box. Oh, uh, yeah. How much was it? It was like 11 bucks. Oh, for one box. And it, one box perfectly fits one baking sheet tray. We did a count on this one, which is similar to this. How many were there? 30 something 33 33 yeah the box was like anywhere from 18 it was a large range yeah, like 18, 18 to 40 something, something so but, we ended up buying two just in case because like what if we had 18 then it would have been the tiniest mukbang ever but i think they do it by weight it's mm. a two pound box two pound of muscles so yeah. if it's smaller then you get more the other thing you need to do when you clean these muscles is sometimes there's like uh some some other stuff inside the actual muscle so you got to make sure you pluck those out there wasn't too many of those hairy situations here. <laughs> Does this not sound appetizing anymore? <laughs> yeah, but it was only eleven dollars. Good source of protein. If you're on a keto diet, this is perfect. There's no, there's no. I mean, I was thinking James might have wanted to eat rice with this, but he says he's good. I had a big sandwich for lunch, so I was like, "Oh, that's a lot of bro like." Bread was never growing up like a thing where it's like, ooh, it's bad for you. And then it became like I heard more about it, but then I think you really exasperated my fear of carbs. You know why? Because it was later in life that I knew I learned about carbs. Sure. Because I was a kid, rice, I was like, that's not fattening. Bread, that's not fattening, you know, because like you don't think of it as fat. I no. thought fat makes you fat. <laughs> like the fat on the on the ribeye steak or oil, oil, oil that's fat, mm, you know? Mm -hmm. So as a kid, I was like, well, if you eat more fatty foods, yeah, it's the same word. But no, it's the freaking carbs. But I feel like carbs respond in your body different than mine. Yeah. It's, it's, generally, it should be the same for everyone, but everyone's body is different. So like I can get away with eating carbs, I think, more than you. Oh, yeah. Because as soon as you get carbs, I can tell. White's not your color. You should consider black, you know. Just for that, I'm going to wear horizontal stripes. Oh, yeah. You know what? You don't have any. I know. I avoid. <laughs> if I think about it, I don't have any. No, you have, you have like horizontal, but the very thick kind. So oh. you can get away with the thick kind, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No, like the horizontal stripes. But I started looking like Saturn. Ooh, you just reminded me. I'm ready to go on a little, my, my annual little shopping spree. I go shopping maybe twice a year, and I'm very old school. I like to go in person, try on the clothes, and buy like four bags like I'm on a uh, clueless you know when she goes shopping oh. I can't do this like you know you buy something here and there online and then you have to return I I don't I've not crossed over to that should I start thinking about that oh, one time I'm sure you're wearing you um, ordered this for me I know uh, our friend's brand crescendo mm -hmm. uh it looks nice on you it does and oh 
my short shorts. See, this is why I'm a faux pas fashion. Like my boxers are peeking out of my shorts right now. I'm so, not going to show you this. So but he, so J, so I ordered these really cute shorts. If you if could find a picture of it, insert it in the edit, in the editing process of this video. But anyways, and then I didn't even get to wear it. And then he saw it. He's like. I don't have any shorts to wear. I was like, well, do you want to wear this? And then ever since then, he never gave it back. And then it's his favorite shorts. But I know not to wear long boxers underneath these short shorts. <laughs> well, it's because I know you just did laundry, but I'm in my uh, emergency underwear pile right now. So this is why I'm wearing box. I don't even wear yeah. boxers, you know? Yeah. So. Ugh. <laughs> You know, it doesn't even phase me anymore. <laughs> uh, did, did you not see your reaction? It totally phases you. Oh my god! Oh like normally, when you go to a, like a sushi restaurant and you order this, it's like what four? No, four or six pieces. Well, if it's all you can eat, you get all you can eat. So, how was our Atlanta trip? You're only there for a couple of days. Yeah, I flew in Sunday, and I, I, it trips my mind. But Mark dropped me off at the airport at a seven forty five flight. And then by the time I landed, it was already 3.30, but that's because of the time change. Oh, right. I'm actually only in the air for like three hours, 50 minutes. But actually, I was scared that weekend because that was when the whole computer oh, shutdown thingy yeah. happened. So I was like, am I even going to make it like there? And then am I going to make it back? So I was a little worried about that. And it was very humid there. Um, I think we already knew it was humid because we actually were in Atlanta for a layover on our way to South Africa last, last year. year. At the same time. Same time. It was so humid. And so um, was, as soon as I left the airport, got to the hotel, I had a shower. Like oh, I'm going to have to do I after this mukbang because I'm going to shower because it, it's like giving me the same, but it's really sticky. I don't think he would have liked it. Hmm. Um, and because it was a work trip, we didn't even have that much time to like explore. So I'm like thinking to myself, if we have any ATL viewers here, if we ever go back, what should we do? Because literally, I think I ate at a few restaurants. I tried Bojangles, which is like a, fried chicken chain that's out there that's going to come here and i just pretty much just stayed in my room that was my trip well did you miss me of course how many how many episodes of whatever did you watch actually you ready you ready for me to spill the tea mama I have nothing to hide nothing to hide nothing you to started hide. a korean drama which has i don't know how many episodes he was on episode one when i left and then when i came home from the trip he was on like episode 25 26 it's it's something that I've seen before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's a drama actually a lot of people have seen before. It's uh, probably one of the first like internationally watched drama mm. before Netflix, before YouTube, before streaming services. So back in the day, how can something be watched internationally? You have to go to the video store to get it? Or like they aired on that country's like TV oh. um, dub or something like that. But it was like widespread. Mm -hmm. Taejanggum. Early 2000s, but it was about this historic, um, it's a historical setting. Mm. And then this girl oh, like learns how to like make food for the royal kitchen. But she has a lot of adversities along the way. It's one of those like, 50 plus episodes. Like the, they didn't have muscles in the market that day? Like what kind of adversity? <laughs> without, <laughs> without a lot of spoilers. Like there's lack of ingredients in one episode? Yes, but there are some bad people that are trying to prevent her from rising up. From succeeding. From succeeding. So it's one of those. But I've seen it before. So sometimes when I'm ironing or when I'm like, you know, doing chores, I just have that in the background. Mm. So that's why I'm already on episode 25. You should watch it. I don't have... Well, how, how long are the episodes? An hour? So probably like 40, 50 minutes. I don't have time for that. I would. No, the other day he was watching it and I was like, do you ever get hungry watching? Because every scene she's cooking something. Though today she was cooking like beef and I was like, girl, that beef, you need to send that back. It did not look like beef. It had like these weird, like prickly no, it, things on it. No, it was, it was giving me goosebumps. It was flour because like you're making um, yukjeon, like a beef um, mm. jeon with the, I don't you know. You dip it in egg and you pan fry it. I think the storyline, that's not really beef. <laughs> <laughs> that's adversity. That was like, yeah. Well, so how many episodes total was it? 50? 100? I don't even remember. It's like one of those, like a lot, a lot of episodes. Oh my gosh. Mm. It is nice to have it both ways, huh? Kind of changes it up a little bit. It almost had. An emergency right before we hit 
a record oh. button. I don't know and why. The first thing I thought of was like me like going in my underwear. And that <laughs> has happened in the past. <laughs> we won't reveal which mukbang episode. <laughs> no, but what was the emergency? We have we have we use light, the shadow box light um, when we film. And after all these years of using it, mm. the light bulb burnt out, and James's look is like, <sighs> like we're in a crisis. But you actually saved the day. I found I just so happened clean his section of the house that has all of our mukbang filming gear, and for some reason I was like, there's a box here that has a light bulb, but I don't really know what this bulb is for. And then when Mark was kind of like troubleshooting. I was like, maybe it's in this box. And so it, it was exactly, and it's, it's not just any light bulb. Can you uh, bring it over? It's not just any light bulb. It's like, whoa, you know, so you can't just use a house light bulb and not a lighting system, you know? Anyway, yeah. so crisis averted. Yeah. So I'm, you know, I'm always the brains behind this operation. You're the looks. I'm the brains. You want to be the looks and the brains? When am I then? The muscles? <laughs> Actually, my friend Karina, she grabbed my le left bicep and was just like, there's nothing there. And I was just like, and then she grabbed my right one. She's like, there's muscle there. And I was like, don't ask questions. <laughs> but we're supposed to start a gym thing soon. We are. So I'm going to have a glow up, y'all, very soon. Maybe starting this week, we are going to. Not maybe. We, we are. are. We are. On Wednesday. Are. I'm mentally preparing for it. I need to think about my gym outfit, though. I look cute to the first day back at the gym. Literally, I've not been to the gym since that video that we filmed in San Jose. And that wasn't even really the gym. I just went down and filmed some content and went back to bed. <laughs> right? And I've been going to the gym every morning. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Did some treadmill. Did some Stairmaster. I'm kind of nervous about going back, though. Should we match? Uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> we don't have to match. So we decided to check out like a special gym. So not just like 24 hour fitness, but it's set up where there's like 10 stations. And then each station you do like 30 second interval. Yeah. And it's different exercises, right? And you just do as hard, as much and as hard as you can on each station with some time in between. Mm. So it's, a th it's like a 30, 40 minute workout and then you're done. Mm -hmm. I did um I did a before photo of myself. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So fully nude or? Why fully nude? I don't know. It's, uh, I'm just curious. Do you want to see it? I'm going <laughs> to charge you. <laughs> it's okay. Why are you so curious? You no, see I'm it? just curious. You see it every day. Um, James did decide to sleep in the nude last night. <laughs> did you not either? I did. We had like, a night last night. That's why. He came on kind of late, but he's like, let's just take off our clothes and sleep. And I was like, hmm? <laughs> I think it's because I didn't know where my house shorts were at that point of the night. Yeah, so, so I was just, just like, like, I'm just going to bed. But the problem with that is like, it starts out nice, but then when you wake up and you realize that the blanket is not really on you and you're kind of like exposed, exposed, it just doesn't feel nice. Yeah. It's like my gooey duck is just like chilling to the left, chilling to the right. The other day, speaking of light, this is why I was going to bring it up. I took a photo of Mark, inserted it in this video, and you said you look really old in it. Oh, do you remember which photo it was? Yes. Should I show people? <laughs> but. What? No. It's the photographer that made me look that way, not in real life, you know? Oh, so you're going to go off of that. Let the viewers decide. <laughs> Um, you know what, actually, lately, people have been really surprised at how old we are, actually. We definitely look younger than when we probably started doing videos, in my opinion. You know, I wonder how much of it's just, like, sympathy comments that we get. Like, because, like, J me too on sometimes, but mostly James, he loves to ask people that we just meet, guess how old I am, guess, guess how old I am. I do that? Mm, you do. Well, which is not, it's, it's like an icebreaker, right? So, like, how much of it do you think they're really trying to tell the truth? Or they think, like, oh, maybe they are old, so I'm going to go, like, what I think, minus 10. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know. Do you do that? What do you do when someone asks you, guess how old I am? Do you try to be polite? Or do you try to, like, really guess it? I don't know. No one really does that to us, so. No. 
I don't know what I would do. I think you just don't know how to take a compliment. Because <laughs> as soon as someone says, oh my God, you're only like, you're this old? I'm like, yes. I okay. know. Okay. I embrace it. Mm. Okay. Okay, now I think I'm feeling, I'm getting full. How many muscles do we eat? I have a little discard bowl over here so we can oh, count sh later. Should we, like, measure? Should we weigh? Uh, I mean, I'm still going. I don't know. Are you trying to make, are you trying to stop? No. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm letting it, uh, like, fill this. I don't know why. Yeah. Is something, like, is there, like, a, a troll here? Troll? A troll that's, like, controlling the bridge, you know, like. Control? Blow. Is that oh, what you control, just said? Control, controlling. Do I have a troll controlling the little girl? Blow? I don't see no troll except for the one that's sitting next to me, okay? There's no troll inside of you. <laughs> You're going to hurt his feelings. <laughs> I hope you have a little if, diamond on If your you had a bushes. troll, what color hair tr troll would you have? Oh, you know what? Like, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really like those toys except for the gem belly button. Hmm. But their face and the really... Vibrant hair color was a little bit too much for me. For the butt, the exposed butt, yeah. that was a lot. But we saw a Kim Tai video recently. There's a, <laughs> there's a there's boy a... from Korea. Yeah. That kind of looks like a, tr like it reminds me of a cute trope. But it's also naked babies or something with a fruit head. <laughs> it kind of gives me the same vibe. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I kind of do miss, like, this era of, like, really watching, like, YouTube, but I don't know what... I think my my feed is confused on what type of video to to serve me. What's on your feed? It's, like, a combination of K-pop performances, gambling videos, some food, some vlog. Mm. Like, there's not a clear taste in what I watch. Whereas before, it was really all, like... It was a lot of food back then, and now I think because I'm not watching as actively so it doesn't know what videos to get back then it was a lot of like how to grow your youtube channel oh yeah and then i once to watch that a lot. and i would always fall asleep within the first 30 seconds i was like what's the point of wanting to learn something if you're gonna just and that's why our channel never grew uh, <laughs> <laughs> right i was just thinking what do you watch on there my algorithm is kind of crazy too so it's either cooking shows or um like i don't know why but Right now in Korea, a lot of the reality shows, they're bringing in like these, not the prime famous anymore, but they were like in the 90s type oh, of thing. Oh, yeah. And then they just come back and like do like a interview or a reality show. And then, you know, they're just like reliving their heyday and, you know, kind of like going down memory lane. <laughs> what we're doing, because <laughs> we were gone for like a year and now yeah. we're like trying to resurrect this. We're trying to have a comeback, you know, yeah. at a much older Age working. We can't even finish a tray of muscles. Well, thank you again for joining us for another mukbang. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you for our next video. I love you. Comment. Comments are getting less and less. Yeah. Comment. Comment more and more. They're not going to be at this part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.